Hi all and welcome to my channel Fred Makes Things. Today is another fun uh, sewing video for you. Uh, this is a project outside of my Sewers Club series. Um, it's kind of like one a one-off um, little fun thing that I made. So um, as always these videos are going to be in four parts. Part one is the project and inspiration. Part two is the uh, construction of said project. Part three is pros, cons, and user error. And part four is final thoughts and wrap up. So part one um, is uh, talking about this guy and my inspiration and where I came up with him and all of that. So, a little story. A few years ago, quite a few years ago, um, when I was still living in France years ago, so uh, three years, four years, five years, I don't quite remember. Um, I'll take a look and see when I saved the post on Facebook and um, I'll let you know how long it really was. But anyway, um, a number of years ago, I was on Facebook and I came across this uh, blog post that was either a sponsored video or suggested to me or shared from a family member. I Again, I don't remember how I came across it, but I know I came across it on Facebook um, of this lady who did a really um, realistic kind of looking whale, stuffed whale for like her little brother or cousin or something like that. And she did a, a blog talking about it. And I really liked it. I really liked the look of the whale. I liked how she was recycling a pair of jeans to do it. Um, and yeah, so I decided I would save it and come back to it later. And now several years later, I've finally gotten around to making the thing. Um, I'm not gonna show you her blog post just yet and her and the inspiration photo. Um, I'm going to save that till the end, but this is my in interpretation of what she did. A little, a little whale about the size of my hand. So yeah, we're going to jump right into part two, the construction. Um, so like I meant said, this comes from a single pair of jeans and uh, more specifically this is just the bottom half of a leg of my husband of a pair of my husband's jeans right um I think in her video or in her post she probably used an entire leg but um we'll get to that when we get to me talking about like pros cons and user error right now I'm just going to focus on the construction so what she did in her video or in her blog post is that she posted a photo of how she cut everything out like all of her fabric pieces cut out and laid out for her um but she didn't post like a pattern or anything like that um so what i did is i saved that image um in the, made a uh template traced it out using photoshop and created my own template of what she did um and this is what i came up with um, what I really liked about her post was that she used the wrong side, like the interior side of the denim to do her uh, stomach portion, like her belly portion of the whale, and then she used the top side for everything else, so I copied her on that. Um, I tried to follow everything that she uh, suggested or that she did, but um, I got kind of distracted later on and forgot what I was doing. Anyway. So first off, I right, I made the template, right, using Photoshop, then I cut it out, then I laid it out on the jeans, cut the template out on the jeans, leaving room for the seam allowance here, which she didn't have, or I didn't, right, because it like matches up perfectly. So I left a seam allowance for here and here, um, an extra seam allowance here, and an extra seam allowance on here. Um, just to be on the safe side because I forgot that she'd already had her seam allowances um, factored in. 
Um, the other thing I did first too is I took the size of her original picture, whatever, however big it uploaded into Photoshop, and I shrank it down to fit an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, um, just because this was like me um, doing my first experiment with this, and I didn't want to like waste a lot of paper printing something out that I decided I didn't like. But anyway, um, from cutting everything out, I then sewed the tail together. I sewed the four arms, right, two for each side. Um, I also cut them out facing this way, like two facing this way, and then I flipped it over and cut out two more facing this other way so that the um, arms or fins matched properly. Um, so I sewed those two uh, fins together. I sewed the uh, bottom section together and then I sewed the top section together. From there I sewed the tail into the bottom section and the fins into the top section. Um, I didn't like where the fins were so I ended up having to cut them out and move them further up which I will show you in user pros cons and user error. Um, there's a lot going on with the fins that I need to talk about. But anyway from there, I sewed the bottom section to the top section, realized I didn't like how long my front section was and uh, cut it down and then re-sewed it. Um, then I stuffed it full of just sewing scraps, really. I was going to use like um, fiber fill or something like that that you'd use for stuffed animals. I was going to tear apart one of my old pillows and use that. But um, because it was so small and I had so much extra scrap from um, my previous few sewing projects, I decided I'd just shove all that in there instead. Um, I also did a little bit of scrap in the tail. Um, then I attached the eyes, hand stitched the mouth closed, and called it a day. Um, and now I will show you what he looks like. So this is the one side with his tail and this is his other side right I chose these really gentle like gray blue buttons that I had for his eyes they were just floating around I have a massive amount of buttons so I just used that um, I forgot to say that the blogger also had you do these like ridges on the underside of the whale and I think the, they looked cool. I kind of wish I had made this bottom section bigger and done more ridging um, but we'll get to that in um, the next part. Here's the tail. We'll talk about that too in the next part. In the back end, his fins, they kind of flap around. And yeah, he's a little derpy but I like him. Right, he's quite small, right? He's from nose to tip of tail, he's about 10 inches. Nose to tip of tail, maybe nine inches, nine, 10 inches, something like that. So he's nice and small, nice and cute. I really like him. Um, all right, so now we'll get into part three, pros, cons, and user error. Pros. Um, I like how he looks. I like how his cute little tail is kind of floppy. Um, I like how his fins kind of are also kind of cute and floppy. I really like his little eye. I like the shape of his body. I really like these grooves in the bottom. Like I said, I wish I'd made more. Um, overall, I like the look of the whale. That's why I decided to make him. Um, I really like the two different, right, using the underside of, or the inside of the pant leg for this section. I think it just looks so cool. It's, like, I think, my favorite part is the contrast, but still using the same um, 
pair of jeans. I also like recycling items, which is one of the reasons that this I was drawn to this particular project. So yeah, lots to like. And I really like the original photo, which again, I will show you soon. Uh, cons. I wish that her blog was a little bit more clear. Um, it could have been me blowing through it like quickly, but um, I really wish she had given dimensions, um, like how big everything should be and like a template that um, we could save or work off of better than a photo of how she cut everything out. Um, I, I, I appreciate the tutorial. I really do. I appreciate everything that they did, but I just, I wish that they had just been a little bit more detailed. Um, as it is, it's not a big deal, right? My whale came together just fine. Um, but that, that is something that I'm a bit nitpicky about. Um, the other con is it's small. But again, that's a me thing because I shrunk the pattern down. It was a little hard to work on something this small, seeing as how I'd never worked on it before. Um, but yeah, those, that's really my only con. And now for the largest section or part of this section, user error. Um, there's quite a bit of it. First off, um, because I kept messing with the shape of the body and the tail, um, this is all messed up. It wasn't the first, like the bottom looks nice. It wasn't the first time that I did it, but because I tore it apart and did it a second time, I started messing with things, started tucking things in, um, and it just, it looks bad. Like, like there's just too much. I shouldn't have done, like it should be sitting like that, right? I shouldn't have done extra seam allowance on this. And I think it would look a lot better like that. But it is what it is. His tail is now super flappy and floppy and doesn't quite sit right. But, and it looks like, yeah, it's not even fully sewn on the corner there. Um, I did do a couple of like, stitches to help pull this part down a bit so that it didn't look as weird, but um, it is. The tail attached is a little bit too weird. Uh, the other user error, like I said, is that I had to cut the fins. The fins are too far down. I had to move them up. And um, instead of trying to fight all of this off, because I had cut and sew in so much that I didn't want to mess them up more and lose any seam allowance that I had left. So I left these intact. I don't think you can really, well, you can tell, but I don't think it really matters in the long run. off some extra fluff there this side too right anyway I don't like, I don't think it matters really in the long run he's just gonna be like a little mascot that hangs out on my desk or something but um, definitely there's some room for improvement there um, I also am pretty sure I sewed his fins on backwards I think they're supposed to go this way like I think that looks better and I think they were like that at first but when I re-sewed them they ended up facing the wrong direction um and by the time that I noticed it it was too late to fix it on the plus side they both they both equally faced the wrong direction um they are also don't have the same shape they started off the same shape uh when I cut them but I don't know what happened I don't know why they're no longer the same shape they're supposed to be like this rounded kind of shape here not this flat shape or like as you can see on the template right it is supposed to be a bit more like 
shapely and they're not. Um, also, I used too much of a seam allowance on these and I had to cut them down as well. So those. And then the biggest issue, um, and this is where I'm going to post um, the original inspiration photo. Um, I forgot what kind of whale I was making. Hers looks more like a humpbacked or a blue whale or something. Um, I'm going to read the post, put in what she actually calls it. My head looks more like an orca's. Still really, really cute, but not the right shape. And because of that, it looks like this guy, or his little dorsal fin, looks kind of weird and silly if he's supposed to be an orca. He's kind of just like a made-up child's version, it looks like, of a whale. And that kind of makes me sad. I still think he's cute. I like him. I like how derpy he is. Um, but it's just, he's not exactly what he should be. Um, I also think that I had such a hard time with him because I did make him so small. I do have plans to make him again in the future, um, but bigger. Bigger and better. I don't know if I'll share on the channel or not, but that is the plan for the future. So yeah, I think that's it. Pros, cons, user error. And now we're going to go into final thoughts, which I kind of just did, but here we go again. I like him. I like the idea of my little whale. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the execution, right? Like I said, I don't like his little tail. I don't like how his fins don't match. And I really don't like how I completely forgot what I was doing in the end and completely reshaped his head. I don't think his head looks bad or anything. He's just not what he's supposed to look like. Um, I think he's a fun little project. I really like like following um, tutorials and patterns from like smaller people, people I don't recognize. Or, you know what I mean? Like instead of just buying a pattern from like a big pattern manufacturer, like following little vlogs and tutorials, I think those are fun. I like doing them. And yeah, so all in all, I would say this guy is a success because he's holding together, um, but he's not perfect. And that's okay. He's my derpy little whale. So um, yeah, I guess now I'm just going to say, what do you think of this project? Um, do you like him? Would you be excited to see me attempt to make him again larger and better and following the blog a little closer and remembering what shape the whale is that I was supposed to be doing? Um, if, if, it's, if I don't post it here, I'll probably post it to Instagram whenever I get around to making it. Uh, my sewing stuff is put away right now, so it won't be anytime soon, but it could be in the future. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave you with the usual things. Subscribe if you like. I'm tiny, but growing. I appreciate you all. Um, like if you like this little project, if you like these little kind of one-offs in the sewing world from me. Um, he only took me, like I said, an afternoon. Or it should have only taken me an afternoon. So he's not that huge of a time commitment, which was nice. Um especially compared to that wallet from last week. That thing took forever. But yeah, um, all right. I've reached the babbling portion of my video, so it's time to go. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye. Bye.